Nature's whim. 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 This fish is easy to breed and care for. Referred to as mollies most commonly. They have the unique ability to live in both freshwater and saltwater if acclimated slowly. Males, pointed anal fin and a much larger dorsal fin. Females, rounded anal fin including a pregnancy spot on the fin. This is a live bearer fish that requires the correct habitat for them to grow well and live a healthy happy life. Their aquarium should be planted as densely as possible, or have a thick mat of plants to use as habitat. Having a thick group of floating plants in the corner of the aquarium will promote healthy rearing of the new young fry offering protection and refuge. Every 60 to 70 days the female may give birth to young fry that are a couple millimeters long. Parents will eat their young if the babies do not have a hiding spot in plants. Many hobbyists use live-bearing fish such as these mollies, sword tails, platys and guppies as a natural, healthy source of live food for other fish such as puffers, PACU, and all cichlids to consume. Mollies are live-bearers like the fancy guppy, and they are incredibly easy to breed and care for making them perfect for any aquarist. Mollies come in a variety of colors, including this 24 karat gold dust molly. They inhabit freshwater streams and coastal brackish and marine waters of Mexico. The wild type fishes are dull, silvery in color. The molly can produce fertile hybrids with many Posalia species, most importantly the sailfin molly. The male mollies generally tend to be mildly aggressive. Mollies rank as one of the most popular feeder fish due to high growth rate, birth size, reproduction, and brood number. Contrary to popular belief, this species of fish is actually a freshwater species, spending little time in brackish water before swimming back to their freshwater biotope. Thank you for watching.